this is something you are being taught very clearly. You know, it's learning center rather than teacher center. This is learning. Yeah, so what we are trying to say is, it's you have to listen sensitively and empathetically. When I use the word empathetically, what I mean is try to see it from her point of view. Not from you. It's like a student. If a student is learning difficulty, try to understand why she has a problem from her problem point of view, not from your position of knowledge. It's similar to that. Then you make this I mentioned, I will not harp on it again about academic hierarchy. Then ask leading questions and ask for clarifications. Now, when you do focus group discussions, you have to be very careful. Uh, because if you are talking about it's, it, there is also a limit to what you can ask. You cannot ask people about their personal problem. You can, unless she is comfortable enough to talk about it. She may not want to, you have to respect their privacy as well. So there is a limit to what you can ask. You can use it for policy research, to understand how a program is working, to identify needs, to identify deficits in the community, to understand how a certain implementation program is happening. These are the issues you can discuss. But you cannot expect her to reveal her personal life just because she's a poor woman. It's lack of respect. Then difference of opinion. She may not say, she may not be agree with you, but two people may have difference of opinion, but respect. You cannot say you're clever and she is done. Everybody has to go through a process of coming to a point. And without See, it goes into tangent when everybody gets excited and talks. Discussions go in different directions. It's for us to bring it back into the new world. Okay? Yeah, the researcher. Here you have used, I have used the word for the researcher. I have used the word Because I will be the one who will be managing the discussion. So without interfering, I bring it back. A researcher may not be a classic principal in this field. She may not, she may get someone else too, because very often in language is a problem. I may not talk directly. I may get someone else to talk. So I will be taking notes. But I will be in the same Usually about two people, not a team of ten people. You don't intimidate them with uh, so many people now. Because it's their session, they are creating the knowledge. Remember, they are creating the knowledge. So the main point is how do we analyze the data? I will show you how to make a chart. If it's more than one, then you want to come back to data. What are the main points? You put the main points which emerge from each session. Okay? What are the key points? Like technology being introduced and coming back as a good thing. People find it difficult. Yes. Many people said they are difficult. Why was it difficult? Lack of access maybe, lack of literacy maybe, computer literacy, uh, lack of power. So you put why do people. So you list these points together and bring it in. In our research, and I'm telling you, Focus group is not used by itself. We use it along with other empirical methods. So we have, and it becomes very important. I'll give you a simple example. One study which we conducted was on sexual harassment in two institutes of higher education in uh, Mumbai. When we went to the girls, the students, none of them admit to sexual harassment. Why did they not admit? Partly because they saw it, nobody likes to talk of these things, they are in a questionnaire to address it, to talk of it, etc. In fact, less than 25% of the women said that 
what did not come out came out from the focus group discussions. In that, so what we we do not quantify the data and say fifty percent of the girls spoke of sexual harassment. We could not impact that data, but we will we could say that the records said this. But through the focus group discussion. It was apparent that it was more widely prevalent. So you see how carefully our research gets done. That's it. Then, then an important thing is meaning is not always in words. You all know that as teachers, as communicators, you know, meaning is in how it is said. And you have to listen to the silence as well. These are very important points to remember. Background information. See, like preliminary investigation, like caste, class, work, etc. You would have got it together before organizing the thing. Then, in your report, you will highlight important anecdotes. Then, feedback. The important thing of completing focus group discussion is that the participants have the right to the feedback. What you are trying to do is get the research power into the hands of. And that session is over. <laughs>